Hi, good day. This is Michael with Iconesis. Today we'll be doing a real-time workflow video communicating 360 product photography. We're working with one of our Silver Series turntables, acrylic riser to kind of uh, get the white background, and our Shutterstream 360 software. Uh, the camera being used is an EOS M50 with the f1.8 50 millimeter fixed lens. All right, let's get started. What we see kind of in the middle of the screen here, that's actually a live view. And we do have full control over our camera settings. So let's walk through the camera settings first. I'll make a quick adjustment to my ISO I want to shoot because this is stop motion photography to get the highest quality possible. I'm just going to use a ISO of 100. Next thing, white balance. This one is critical. Um, set a custom white balance and or if your camera has color temperature and you know the color temperature of the lights that you're shooting with, um, you can use that option as well. Um, what we're just trying to do here is just kind of Maintain color accuracy while getting the correct exposure. So I'm going to use an aperture 13 to ensure I have full depth from the front to the back of the product. And my last step will be adjusting my shutter speed to just kind of optimize our exposure. And that looks pretty good there. And what we can do is actually a test shot. But one thing before I do a test shot is I want to rotate 180 degrees. If you right click on your rotate, um, I've selected 180 and what that's going to do is kind of rotate the frame for us. So what I could do now is pre-crop my subject and we're just going to do a pre kind of shot here. I really want this again um, to just, I want it to display this way when I get started, kind of when I compose the 360 view, it's kind of a natural orientation for a fishing reel. Um, to hang kind of on the underside of the rod. So I think that's going to give a better visual effect. Taking a look at the image we just shot here, um, it does look very good. So we're going to continue with these camera settings and we're going to move into our 360 area. And let's enable live view again. What we want to do first in the camera settings area, obviously select the correct turntable type you're working with. Uh, but we want to do a pre-rotate. I'm just going to move my turntable to shooting at the moving at the fastest speed. These are variable speed, 10 different speed controls. And to do my pre-rotate, I just want to, and actually let me hit clockwise here. And I'm gonna enter a value in here. I want it to do one 360 rotation, and I will hit the start button there. Visually, I'm ensuring my object is spinning on axis in the center of the turntable. The next thing I'm doing is just ensuring that my object's not falling outside of our cropped area. And I wanna do have a nice kind of crop around my subject as it rotates again i don't need to shoot this entire frame of what we see so i've defined this kind of rectangle or square um, over my subject so that i don't need to shoot that excess frame so that looks pretty good there um, let me just delete my single image and we're going to enter the number of frames turntable with our turntables you can shoot the accuracy is about 0 0.03 degrees shoot upwards of 10,000 frames if required e-commerce that's certainly a lot of overkill so um, we typically suggest between about 48 and 72 frames uh, obviously you'll have free reign to shoot whatever frame count you want but for the purpose of this demo i'll shoot 60 frames and let's go ahead and get started we just hit the start button and that will automate the image capture sequence in a turn stop snap workflow as we see here our camera will snap the turntable will turn then stop and the camera will snap again and we can view the images as they're being captured into the software. Now that we've completed the 360 image capture process, we can see there's 60 images that have been uploaded into the software. I'm gonna enter into the editing mode where I can start to batch process the images. The Shutterstream image editing window includes a lot of features and functionality, including automated background removal tools, color correction, image enhancement, and uh, additional functionality. I won't dive into everything. We've got some great videos that discuss this functionality elsewhere. Um, but what I'll do is just a couple quick uh, things here. The first thing I wanna do, if you look, I'm selecting the, uh, the white point selection tool and if you watch rgb color up in the top right we're going to see we're not quite at a pure white background so what i want to do is go and select kind of the darkest pixel 
and that will turn everything lighter than that pixel white. So I've done that. I'm just going to add a tad bit of contrast. Let me just lighten this up just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. I'll also add some sharpness adjustment here. And then when I'm ready to edit, I can hit apply to all. And in the batch process, these edits will be applied. All right, now that we're done our editing, uh, we're gonna go ahead and batch output these. So we're gonna rename our file, choose our file output location. It's gonna batch rename every single image, zero, one through 60. Uh, we do have some kind of a lot of customization in the naming tools that you can uh, work with just to meet your requirements. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just automatically choose to resize in a batch process all images to 1200 pixels wide. Now that we've output our image set, we're going to open up the 360 View Creator application and the folder where we'd output the images and simply drag and drop to create our 360 interactive view. As you'll see, this quickly creates our interactive 360 product view that is user interactive, click and drag left and right, and also support deep zoom. Now, without diving too deep into our 360 View Creator application, uh, just to kind of touch on a couple things, uh, users do have multiple different output types. These include HTML5, animated GIF, interactive MP4, and MP4 video files. Great for e-commerce uh, directly into your own site, as well as social media channels and third-party marketplaces. Um, the 360 Views, again, are completely customizable. You can choose different button colors and styles. Uh, you can even upload your own custom buttons. Uh, we do have advanced settings where users can add or choose to uh, display whatever buttons they want, the button location. Um, can choose some control functionality in the 360 views, different rotation player style settings, uh, even the option to add watermarks. And when we're ready to go ahead and output this 360 view, what we will do is simply give it a name Choose our output location and we will hit save. And as we can see, this is the output. It is a local file. Users also do have the ability to upload directly to our 360 view server should they wish to use our hosting service. If you have any questions, the company name is Iconosys and we're here for you. Thank you.